Place yourself comfortably in the chair with each hand resting palm downwards on your thighs with both feet resting flat on the floor. Remember how good it is just to breathe properly and how calm it makes you feel. You may feel a pleasant tingling in the nostrils as you breathe in through the nose and a loosening of tension as you breathe out from the mouth. As you breathe in, you begin to feel more and more comfortable, more and more relaxed and at ease. You feel even more relaxed as you breathe out and you can allow the stomach rest as it wants to. And you are breathing comfortably in and relaxing more as you breathe out. Concentrate on your regular breathing. The more you do this, the more relaxed you become. Imagine, if you will, there is a map of the world in front of you. I like to think of it as just a mosaic of shapes and colors. At the top, in the middle, is a large yellow shape of Greenland, and below that is the small green shape of Iceland. These are just shapes, a large yellow shape and a deep, deep green shape. Keep your attention on that deep, deep green shape as you breathe comfortably in and relax even more as you breathe out. The more you concentrate your mind on the deep green shape, the more relaxed you become. When you tense the parts of the body and then relax them in this way, you realize how comfortable it is to just tense and relax. And the more comfortable you are, the more relaxed you feel. Let's begin with the feet. Tense the muscles in the toes and feet. Now relax so that the feet are now flat. Tense the shins. Relax them. Good. Now tense the calf muscle and relax. Tense the knee and relax. Tense the front of the thighs and relax. Tense the back of the thighs and relax and breathe comfortably in and relaxing out. Tense the muscles at the base of the spine. Relax. Tense the abdomen. And relax even further. Tense the muscles of the chest. and just let go. Tense the shoulders and then allow that tension to drop away. Tense the neck, the chin, the cheek muscle, 
tense all the little muscles around the eye. That's fine. Tense the eyebrows and then relax. Tense the forehead. Good, you are doing really well. Remember to breathe comfortably in and relaxing out. Imagine tensing all the muscles in your scalp and then letting them relax. Imagine now all of the tension moving down as the weight drops from the top of the head. You may feel the tension around your forehead like a soft woolen band. And if so, allow that weight in your forehead to fall to the eyebrows. The more you listen to the sound of my voice, the more relaxed you will feel. And sooner or later, you will experience this true relaxing trance. Ignore any outside irrelevant sounds, such as cars, people talking or shouting, dogs or the cluttering sound of the world outside. There is no pressing business. Those things do not matter here. In this place where you can just completely and totally relax. Allow the weight of those heavy eyebrows to move down slowly to those heavy eyelids. That's fine and relax those tiny muscles around the eyes. It will be easier now to let your eyes close as the weight moves down the bridge of your nose and cheeks to the relaxing mouth, to the chin, then to the neck, and imagine it resting on those heavy shoulders. You may feel a slight tingle of relief as the tension moves down the back of the head to the back of the neck and through to the base of the spine. Let those heavy shoulders fall, allowing the heaviness to move down the upper arms to the elbow to the forearms to the palms of the hands and onto those thighs now heavy with the tension that has moved from the base of the spine. You now have the opportunity to really relax. Breathe in comfortably and breathe out relaxed. Let all the tension in those heavy thighs move through the knees, to the shins, then to the back of the calf, and to the heels, to the upper feet, and then the soles of the feet. And through the soles of the feet, to the floor, to the ground, and into the earth itself. As the body is now in a totally safe and relaxed state, pretend your mind is now free from any physical restraints. Contemplate the infinite nature of the universe without concepts of time, speed, size, or dimensions. Think of yourself in the chair 
then the room in which you sit. Then think of the whole building. Imagine you can see the city in which this building is just a speck in the distance. Then moving as such to where this nation is just a colored shape among many. Then drift deeper into space. The earth becomes a colorful football attracting the golf ball moon. You are moving deeper past Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and other planets that surround the shrinking sun until they become just one of many lovely sparkling diamonds that surround you. As you move deeper, you see that the galaxy itself is just one of many wondrous sights. And you see that the universe is infinite, ever expanding. You notice that the universe is also just one of many as you look back the way you came. It is one of the many galaxies, elliptic or irregular, one small shape of light, a spiral becoming larger and larger until the enormous spiral of the Milky Way, our own galaxy engulfs everything. Many unusual, but somehow familiar, heavenly sights now become apparent as you recognize our star. The sun and our solar system begin to take focus. The ice cold Uranus and Neptune, gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn with its mysterious rings become visible to the, to the naked eye. Now our lovely blue earth shows again the colors of the sea and land. You see the shape of our country, our city, this building, this room with you in the chair, then go deeper within. Go still deeper, go deep within your body, underneath the skin, inside those internal organ organs, inside your blood, Go deeper within the cells, still deeper within the atoms that form them, and you can imagine this universe is deep within you. As you go deeper into this universe, its infinite depth, deeper within yourself, you are pleased to feel more at home more relax. This is where you want to be. Ahead of you is a set of three semi-translucent curtains, shimmering one before the other. Find yourself passing through them and entering your own deep inner place, the place where you really want to be. Each time you pass through a curtain, it deepens your relaxation tenfold. You are sliding through the first curtain, feeling deeper and deeper relaxed. You are passing through the second curtain, feeling its silky texture as you glide effortlessly through. And you realize that you're even more relaxed. You are 10 times more again. You pass through the third curtain, going 10 times deeper, and more relaxed than ever before. Imagine the pleasant surprise to find yourself in a beautiful garden. You know it's safe from the turmoil, the pressures of the outside world. In this safe, calm inner place, you may notice the scent of your favorite flowers. You inhale the lovely smell from the plants and the nearby fruit trees. The lush grass rolls down to a calm, clean stream. 
laced with silver ripples of light as it flows by the bottom of the garden. As you sit on a comfortable old bench with a solid wood table, everything is somehow familiar and reassuring. Many pieces of interesting wrought iron and garden ornaments seem appropriately placed to make you feel good. You remember similar familiar places that make you feel good as well as part of the this experience. You know that there will be everything you need just to be. As you place your right hand on the old wood table, you realize you are easily in control of this inner place of yourself and your body. You can regulate your breathing without too much effort and breathing will naturally become slow and easy. You know how to do this as you've done this before in comfortable, out relax. You can control the outer body to reflect a calm and normal, cooler and presence. Your heart rate can be slowed if needed. No longer is there any need to worry about being alone with stress or anxiety as this home is always within you. You are in control in this secure inner place deep, deep within yourself where outside worries don't matter. The confidence and calm of this place will always be with you because you now have the knowledge that you can come to this inner place at any time. From any place as it is always within you. To revisit this inner place, simply clench the right hand into a fist and stretch out the fingers resting them as you say to yourself the words inner place. Do all this three distinct times. The calm control will then immediately take effect as you feel yourself releasing tension and going back to that inner place. You are now deeply relaxed and the suggestions that you hear will have an immediate and permanent effect on your subconscious mind. You will hear every word that I speak, even though you may find your mind wandering away at times, because right now nothing else matters, nothing, except for this wonderful feeling of relaxation that you're experiencing. At this moment, is as though you haven't a care in the world. Nobody wants anything. Nobody needs anything. There is absolutely nothing at all for you to do except relax and let go. And just enjoy the feelings that are being generated within you. I understand that you have been experiencing problems with coping with financial aspects of your life as so many others are doing too at this time. A hypnotic experience doesn't guarantee to help you to turn your finances around immediately. However, it, what it can do is put your concerns about money issues into perspective, allowing you to feel happier and more optimistic without co coping with this side of your life. Whether you are worried about paying off your bills or debt, 
contributing towards the household income, providing for your family, or simply surviving and making ends meet, then here in the safety of hypnosis, put those worries out of your mind right now. Let us use the power of your wonderful imagination right now to go back to the Roman era, a time when people traded in salt. Roman soldiers were part paid with salt so that they could barter it for food or favors, which coincidentally is where the saying, he's worth his salt comes from. In those days, Money meant very little, as most people didn't have any. And even now, it is just like a trading token. People survive pretty well using this method. Knowing that they had something to offer and others had something to exchange so they could trade with you. Isn't it interesting how history seems to repeat itself? These cycles of life seem to return in so many ways. Fashion, for example, goes around and around. When you're 30, 40, or 50, you see youngsters wearing the same but slightly altered designs that you did as a teenager. Now I'd like you to know and to understand that this era you're in is part of this cycle of life. And like a yo-yo, you will go up and down. Like a wheel, it will go round and round. How will you appreciate the high times in life if you don't experience the lows? There are so many things that you can do to help cope with your financial cares. The first and most obvious task is to keep track of your income and outgoings and get rid of any unnecessary expenses. You need to make a list of where your money goes so that you can see where you can make cutbacks. The next useful thing you can do is to get back in touch with simple things in life. If you're a parent, take your kids for a walk in the park or the woods instead of activities that cost money. Explain to them that they can't always have what they want and stick by your word. This way, you are instilling values in them that will help them as adults should the cycle return again. A few other examples are if you have a garden, you could discover the enjoyment of growing your own vegetables and salad. The rewards will come rushing to you when it's time to eat your homegrown produce. Even without a garden, you can use patio pots to plant your vegetables in. If you've been used to eating takeaways, then you can save money by cooking from scratch. Try different recipes and enjoy the benefits of knowing that it's fresh prepared and not rotten meat that is covered in sauce. Exchange favors with friends and relatives. If they're good at sewing, DIY, and you're good at mending, electrical goods, cooking, then form a group where you can trade one task for another. This could help you to meet new people, make new friends, and feel happier and much more in control of your situation. If you are out of work, then you could use your spare time to learn new skills. Join a library and find books on something that could help you to make money out of a hobby. Or improve your chances of gaining useful employment. I'm sure that you have plenty of ideas on your own, so I want you now to drift into a creative resource center of your inner mind and dream up some options that appeal to you. No matter what the situation is, there are always options and alternatives, though some are not as pleasant as others. So take a few moments now 
and allow your subconscious mind to roam where it will while it shifts through all the information you have gathered across the years. Let it have free reign to come up with options and alternatives that you know will work for you. I will be quiet for a few moments while you do this. Good. Now that you have some options, I want you to formulate an action plan in your mind, a plan which is easy to follow and has alternatives available to you should you need them. A good plan will be easy to follow and flexible. After all, the object of this of the exercise is to improve how you deal with your finances. You take control and follow your plan, making extreme extraneous events work for you instead of dictating what you should do next. Visualize yourself now in a few months time when your plan has been successfully implemented. Feel the freedom and relief, the lack of stress and the wonderful feeling of being in control of your finances. Being able to easily cope with the management of day-to-day -day life and all it has to throw at you. Good. Now, when you're ready, I'm going to count from one to five, and at the count of five, you will be wide awake. One, two, three, four, five. 